On today's episode, we talk about Toronto's housing market to get worse as development applications drop off. GTA faces widest housing gap in over 50 years amid soaring population growth. Mortgage and real estate industry hit the jackpot with these trio of announcements. Homeowners who switch lenders at mortgage renewal will no longer be subject to stress test rule, Osfi says. Sue Kaza asks, are experts calling 2024 the best fall market in years? All of that and more on today's episode. Good morning, Mr. TK. How are you? Oh my God, I'm so busy. It's ridiculous. How about you? You still got time for the show? Barely. Barely? Barely. What do you I mean? mean what, I got... what do you really have to do other than show up and talk for an hour and edit for like 17? Not Come much. On. There's not absolutely much. not much going on behind the hood of this thing. That's for sure. Absolutely. But lately, there's been even less, right? Yeah. Even all, less. All those guys in Istanbul who are all helping us put together this show, we salute you. We salute you. We say you. salute you. We don't mean in a military way or in any type of threatening way. So please stay where you are and stay calm. Istanbulians? Is that what we call them? What are you, well, it's what funny. Are you like sometimes I'm Istanbul. watching these shorts and I'm always like trying to be sensitive on what I'm saying. You know what I mean? I don't want to be able to, I don't want them to come out with some sort of remix to make me sound like an idiot. What a bigger great idiot idea. than I already am. What a great you know? idea to That's make a TK good. remix. The 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 video editor guys, you gotta you gotta massage them, right? You guys are doing a fantastic job. A fantastic, fantastic. job. The best. I have to best say to the editor. Video editors in all of Istanbul. It's true. I had to say to him, I was like, you know, can you maybe make a couple of videos where I don't look like an idiot? And he was like, you know, you're not giving me much to work with here, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I try my best. I know. That's okay. That's all right. Well, we look TK. good though. We got these red jackets. We got red lots jackets. to talk about today. I heard all those oh, amazing Jesus. um article um headlines, headlines. Yeah. that were just oh wow. There's all so kinds much of going stuff on. going on. It's pretty so amazing much. what's going on. And it's like change. A lot of change. Change is change happening, Daryl. This happening. is what it's all about is change. You we know, need we... votes. We need votes. We're losing in the Something. polls and yeah, like comments. Of- I'm double subscribed. Do it yourself. Didn't get to fix the show, though. Didn't get to fix the show. Something has to change. Let's cause... let's talk about the stress test, right? I mean, How we were good all is that, we've been all talking about the stress tests being uh, no longer necessary because when the stress test was implemented back in 2017, interest rates were a lot lower than they are right now. Considerably, and, yeah. And that they were trying to prevent uh, borrowers from taking on too much um, debt that they can't service later on when interest rates did go up. Now, sure. They used that stress test and it failed miserably. Everyone took on way too much debt anyways. It didn't matter what the heck the stress test was at. Well, at but imagine day, if we didn't have it because it, it did deter a lot of people. Sure, sure. But it still put a bunch of people in trouble. So it wasn't it wasn't 100 percent effective. No. Then interest rates came down and we were like, hey, you know, why do we still need this stress test? And we were like, what about the people who are just trying to renew their mortgage? Can't they access their equity? Can't they just get a little bit of elbow grease on that mortgage and spruce it up a little bit, extend that amortization, let them pay a little bit more per month and pull out a little bit more equity so that they can have a little bit more money to be able to go spend at the casino or do that renovation, right? Isn't that fair, Daryl? It doesn't, does that jack up House prices? Is that what's happening? No, but that's what we were talking about. Huh. When it came to the stress test, we were we were saying, okay, fine. If we're not going to remove it for borrowers, then we're going to do it for people who are refinancing. So they finally made an right. announcement and said, no problem. No problem. People who are refinancing and switching banks will now be allowed to uh, avoid the stress test. Avoid the stress test, which is such a beautiful thing. I mean, it's not like you're, uh, you're not avoiding... Um, you know, all the scrutiny when you switch banks, when you stay with the same bank, it's basically just a signature and you have a mortgage. It's like pick the best rate, maybe uh, negotiate a little bit. And away we go. When you switch banks, you have to, you know, give up all your information. You have to uh, have them, 
you know, just check into all of your real and maybe not so real documents, right? So what's beautiful, though, is that what, what do you have to qualify for 2% less now? Like, yeah, well, your qualifying rate will be based what? off of either um, prime or, or whatever your uh, discounted rate is. But here's the issue, though, okay? So the issue becomes um, how much you can actually pull out because you still have to keep the same amortization schedule. Why? Why do you have to pull out? Right. What if you're just trying to get the same? Aren't you just trying to get the same amount of money you already have? Like you're the same size mortgage. I mean, like if you owe half okay, a million. But why? But 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 then why not just stay with the same bank? They're going to renew your mortgage anyways. Well, because now you can go shop it around and get a better rate. That's the whole thing. Okay. Right. But like, how much of a better rate are you getting? I don't know, but half a point makes a big fucking difference. But does this really solve anybody's issues overall? What if someone's yeah, in real trouble and they need to pull out a bunch of equity? And they're like, listen, well, they I might know be able to do that, too. I don't know how that I, I signed a 25 year mortgage and now I'm at 20. But I want to go up to a 30, pull up a bunch of equity and to be able to, like, you know, get get myself back on track or, you yeah. know, who knows what it is. Well, let's be so, real. I mean, if they haven't thought of that yet, they'll figure out a way to make that possible and make that happen right. because they have it to seems qualify like... with the stress test still, you know, deal with and the so, stress test. Yeah, you still have to deal with the stress test if you're going to make those changes. So I feel like it's kind of like a uh positive for some people just yeah. like how those other changes were uh, increasing the cmhc um maximum insured uh, mortgage amount uh was but it's a really small part of the population a really oh, small part of the population like, is going to benefit from this but there's a lot of people that were probably looking at a refinance and they had to qualify with that stupid stress test and they were like holy shit i'm not actually going to qualify for this thing I'm gonna to have to sell my house, and so no. A lot the bank of... was gonna the, your bank was gonna renew with you anyways. I don't know renew anybody anyway. ever at the end of their term who whose bank did not renew. It was just you're right. They had to take a higher rate. Yeah, higher rate. And that so they now couldn't fucking afford. Now the banks are making it more competitive, which is what it is. This is all just about competition and keeping in the spirit of like, hey, you know what? We don't want to have a monopoly here. We want to make sure that people have options. That's why oh. we have those five banks, right? No, this is this is in order to allow more people to spend more money in the market and to keep the damn thing going, isn't it? Doesn't it just help keep no. the wheels moving? It's it's to prevent people from having to sell. So it's about it's, right. it's there Which, to prevent people from having to put their house on the market and fire sell. sales and fucking up the right? pricing. Because in maybe the market. they'll still be able to qualify, and the bank will give them the mortgage, but it ends up you know. I think it helps put a floor on this market. I think it helps yeah. push prices up, just like all this. Whoa, other... whoa, Daryl, slow down. Trio, the trio. Slow down. What was that okay. other headline you read about? The trio of what the hell? Mortgage and real estate industry hit the jackpot with this trio of announcements. TK, I mean, they were yeah. pretty good announcements right like they loosened the cmhc rules like this this new thing is on top of the trio right like the trio was news two days ago this is like listen, this morning listen. or something or yesterday when have i been excited about any policy that the government's introduced and said this is it this is the one that is going to put us back on track name one policy like that every I was... time you've been quite bullish on whatever's come down the pipe how many times, no, how many no, times never. have I, how many times Very has a bearish. new policy come out and I was like, okay, it's a nothing burger and don't worry. Every about single it. time. And then, it, and then it turned out to be something. How many of them turned out to be something? How many of them turned out to be something? Wow, TK, you are batting a thousand. I'm How'd batting you do a that? thousand. You are batting this is a the thousand. same You're thing, man. How this is the this? same thing. This How isn't so good at everything. This isn't going to be the, the, the nothing the, burger. The, the, it's not going to be the, the the savior, the 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 knight in shining armor for it all these people. Be for a bunch the people, of people who are in trouble are in trouble. That's it. They're in That's trouble. Different trouble. That's care if I got to pay four hundred dollars a month a month less. I'm That's down a... two thousand. But that's a different layer of trouble. This is us avoiding like that deferral cliff and the uh, mortgage the other cliff and the fear mongering thing. nonsense that actually doesn't exist. Actually doesn't exist. Okay, so but no. the trio of events, those exist, like loosening the boring rules with the CMHC. That's yeah. not yeah. a nothing burger. Is that a nothing burger? Nothing burger. Nothing burger. How many people nothing have three hundred fifty thousand dollars a year income? It only helps the 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 builders. We talked about but this. What are you time. talking about? What about a guy with a eight hundred thousand dollar house that wants a thirty year am now with and he wants to put on a new 10%? build? 
not only new builds. Yes, it is new builds. No, it's not only new builds. It's not only new builds. It's not only new builds. Okay. Away we go, TK. Here we well, go. Good. Get ready. There we go. Saddle up because here comes the bulls. Re regardless, how okay. many times have you been um, at a bank? Like, how many times have you um, talked to a mortgage broker and you didn't have a 30 year amortization option? How when? many times? Yeah, yeah, I know. Like, it was really easy I, to get 30 years you get this 30 last year. time around, right? So, like, what, what's the difference here? It's not like they're saying 40 year option. It's not like they're saying, like, you know, something that no, is now it's insured. Now you put down 10%. There's some crazy, ridiculous number, TK. You don't need 350,000. Oh, income, maybe. That's so dumb. All, so of now this is, all of this Guarantees is a table. small slice Guarantees. of the pie and a bunch of ideas oh. that people have for them Watch. to be able to say to themselves. Watch what oh, happens in Brampton now. I'm telling you the market. Watch what happens better. in Brampton now. You can I'm have six I'm people guaranteeing a house for 150, 1. 1.5 million with a hundred and fifty thousand dollar down payment. Everybody's gonna guarantee it, and away we go, man. Eighteen the, people will live in that house, right? All well, you know, you're not you're not wrong. The when, when when these builders have these contracts where someone put down one hundred fifty thousand dollars, and they're like, hey, by the way, you know, you're short, and you know, you, you got to come up with some more money. Now they've got a way, a mechanism to try to just throw some parents on title. Throw, throw the parents at it. Throw See some parents on title, right? Get some more people on title. Add more up those incomes. Title. Let's go. And qualify for more. And now yeah. even though you don't have 20% down, you don't need more cash because CMHC will insure it. Oh, yeah, and there's an and insurance hey, premium, by the way, too. Forget about it. Hey, don't forget, Raul can make yeah. you the papers you need no matter what. OK, and but this... Raul can't give you more than 20 percent. Uh, he can't he can't give you enough to have a down payment. You need like 10 percent now. Look at this. Uh, thing. What I'm it's saying, mental. though, is Raul's paperwork will not put more equity, will not no. put more Raul can on your letter. But Chico knows ways to steal Bitcoin from people and put it in your wallet no. if you're brave Ain't enough. And next thing you know, Brampton is booming again. I'm okay. telling you, there's shenanigans I'm going on. I'm I'm letting you know. That okay. they're still not happening. I got a client. I got a client this week who's about to lose their deposit on a townhouse purchase. Townhouse. Mark Morris. He deals with this. I don't even deal with this. This is just like the few people who call me and and ask for my help. Why do they call so you and Morris, ask for help with this? Like why why do they think you're a good choice? Because I'm a good person, Daryl. That's why. Because oh. they know that at least I'll try my best to offer them fair advice and that's guide a, them in the right direction. That's but a good thank idea. you for your vote of confidence. They should call like. Yeah, somebody Anybody less can. qualified. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, they call Mark Morris. That's a good idea. And he he's been on our show several times. Yeah. And he's Which the one makes him the very qualified. The, well, he's telling us the stories that are actually happening to him, and he's seeing these problems. It's those true. problems are out there, they're and that they're not there. over yet, and that no. there's still going to be a bunch of people who need those. Getting worse. Cards. So trio of mortgage announcements. Not trio of mortgage announcements, but it's a trio of announcements. Trio of announcements. They're mortgage-related announcements. Too. Well, no. One of them is the Fed in the States cutting by half a point, which everybody thinks is a giant trigger for us cutting a half a point sooner Possible. than later. Right? Well, that's that, that also is uh, probably not good on so many levels, right? Because apparently when they cut half a point, it means emergency, uh, danger, danger. Emergency. Did you, read the, did you did you read the trio announcement article or did you just read the headlines? Oh, I know all this stuff, TK. I am I'm asking savant. you a question. That's a very. No, I watched uh, Ron Butler's you... video that talked about all this stuff. Okay, but wouldn't the three trio be the thirty year amortization and the other one is the, the CMHC increase and the um, stress test? No, because this was this article came out before, before the stress this test? new news, the stress mm -hmm. test. So well, those are the those inflation, are the real trio. It was yeah. the Fed. And yes. it was the relaxing of the CMHC rules, okay. right? And now we have the, what's it called when four things hit big? The quad, not the quadriplegic. Quad that's not good. Let's the just say the quad. Couple of Rooney. Okay, quadruple. well, now we have the, that thing. Good. And that can't be, listen, those four things, all of them are here to spur on the We should be worried. Market, we it? should be worried that the Fed dropped their that's what I'm uh, overnight saying. Rate by 50 it's basis an emergency. Points. We should Danger. be we should red. be like red, red, starting digging holes in our basements and starting putting in rations. Oh no, that's the truth. That's how bad it is. It. Absolutely, those are the those are the signs of some serious issues. Oh boy, that they're 
that they're making such a pivot because there was always when we're looking over the border mm -hmm. and we're watching our economy start to you know shine show signs of, of of issues and then we're saying well we got all these immigration policies and everything else that that's you know boosting boosting our economy but then we're looking south of the border and we're like man those guys are just trucking along over there what's going on stock markets at all-time highs their job market is healthy all these companies you know what you know what people right now at universities okay are, are uh, as far as job offers are getting young people top Where? top top grads Where? from berkeley and other like ivy league universities in what fields like tech jobs and 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 yeah. People who are normally yeah, get it now ago, before the AI takes your job. But yeah, take they're those not getting big, any job offers. Nothing. The top people at the yeah. top universities nothing. at the end of their Ow. program are getting no job offers. Nothing. Where before they would have their choosing. They're choosing. They, they would, would have be their cho which, anywhere you wanted to go. You could go any one of the big companies. Gym as, membership as a, as a top as a top as a top right? uh, cafeterias graduate. and sleep chambers and pool foosball rooms, rooms foosball right? rooms. But think about it. That's now it's like go sign. fuck yourself. Yeah, there's a cra there's a crazy thing happening wow. in the states in the economy too. There's a major, major, major. I think it's um, just the issue that's unfolding in the states right I, now. It, right underneath us. It's so and apparent now. It's been there. It's like here, like where we pretending that we weren't in a recession the last few years. It's like yeah. there now. It's just so bloody apparent that, uh, you know, everything's broken and now they have to do something about it before something really bad happens. But yeah, yeah it's definitely going to be bad first. And then hopefully sooner than later, get really good. Like around, we're on a bull, ready we're to on launch a my project. We're on a bull run here right now. You know, on like a 30 year bull run. Well, depending if you look at the stock market down in the States. Like on a 70 year bull run, if you zoom you're on back it, you're, you're, we're, we're due, right? We're due. We're overdue. We're cooked. We're overcooked. Was that we English? Need to zoom out the back enough? Did I say that in English? That was, we'll cut that out. Don't worry. What the but hell? Did, you know what I mean? This, these if are the things that people are. Far, are are not paying attention to. I think. I think that people right now are um, hopeful, and that's why excited. a lot of people right now are listing their properties. That's why we're getting more and more listings. Uh, you should have seen the list. Every day, I got to go through all the listings for my clients that I've set up in searches, and I pick the ones that I like and pick the ones that I don't like, and I send it to them. And today, it, it was like forty-five minutes. I was going through listings because there were so many listings that came up for me to send to all my clients. Oh my god! And I was just like, "This is the most I've ever looked at. This is the right. most I've ever looked at in one morning." To see all like in people's boundaries or like set yeah, up like meets meet, meet, meet their criteria. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. So what are people doing right now out there? Are they're they going like, out to look at houses. Just looking. Well, look, I mean, they're going out to look at houses that they uh, think that they are, uh, you know, interested in seeing. But the problem is when buyers go out and look. Obviously. And then they and then they go out and look and they look at four. And then they look at it the confused. next day they wake up and they say, oh, look, another one just came up. Oh. Well, I like wait. that one, but this one could be better. Why don't we go and wait till next weekend? Maybe the next So one. they wait. And then a week goes by and they say, oh, that first one that I really liked, it's still available. Huh. Mm -hmm. Let's keep looking. Mm -hmm. Right? And so that changes their psychology and that their sense of urgency starts to dwindle. And then they wait until they find the right property, which some of them never buy. And some of them take months and months and months. At the end of the day, that's their decision. When property starts selling fast and you walk in and then it's like, there's an offer. Ah, oh, I don't care. I don't even like it. Oh, that one sold for asking price. Oh, okay. All right, let's go see that one next Tuesday. Oh, that one's already sold. Yeah. Hey, people are fill, the other feeling one? out There's the market. Offers on that one. You start to get into panic mode, wow. and then you make bad decisions. Bad right now, decisions. Buyers, bad decisions. Sure, when the when the market's going up like that, and and buyers rush into buying. Bad decisions. Yeah. Right now, buyers have got all the time in the world. Yeah. They can browse freely yeah. and determine, you know, what type of house that they want to buy at yeah. their own leisure. And it's no secret that rates are definitely on the way down, at least for the foreseeable future, right? Exactly. So it's like, why the fuck would you buy something right now? But, you know, you've got people like, you know, you, Zucasa, which is pretty what? crazy that I got this email today. Where the hell did I put this thing? Did I delete it by accident? Oh, here, Zucasa. Are experts calling 2024 the best fall market in years? What the fuck is that all about? The real Listen, estate market is evolving because, again. Fall 2024 is show shaping in the past, up to be a golden opportunity. All the realtor um, companies, brokerages, whether it be Phil Soper at Royal LePage or whoever's in charge of uh, the next company, 
Mm -hmm. any announcement that they give is only ever going to be in the interest of them stimulating activity for their company. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. like how can you trust a real estate company or advisor, even a realtor in the media saying where, what direction they think the market's going to go? Well, people used to trust that. Right. And I imagine they will trust it again. They didn't. They didn't. You think they, they did didn't? because that was the person who was always giving those announcements. But even way back into the 80s, those Toronto Telegram articles would be, by, would be from the president of the, the real estate board. And that person could guarantee you that every single time they put out that article, it would say the markets hit a bottom and it's turning around and everybody ready to go. Yeah, yeah. And they did that all throughout the 90s as prices kept dropping, 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 dropping. You can pull it up. Someone mm -hmm. go pull that up. Speaking Somebody of someone, pull it up. Listen, there's a yeah, lot of people. Someone, guys, we're hoping that we can get a few more subscribers this week, okay? And we're hoping that idea. we can get a few more likes and comments and shares and uh, even a little bit of activity on uh, Spotify and uh, Apple Podcasts. Why not? Check it yeah. out. Check out Instagram if you're cool. You'll Instagram's check out Instagram. pretty cool. It's up to you. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Shame. Press okay. a button. God's sakes, please. So there we go. Jeez. There's our little shameless plug here to remind everybody shameless. what they got to do if they like this video. Even if you don't like this video, just do it anyways. Do In it fact, anyways. if you like this video, I guarantee you we won't make another one. Not like this one. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> How so, many years have we been doing this show? I feel like it's the same show every week, TK. Or yeah. It's the same. It's the same stuff every it's the week. Same shit every week. Let's let's talk I got about a beard this week. Let's talk about the um the development project. You don't have that article. The development project. Yeah, Dougie's 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 back on a roll. Oh, the I tunnel. The tunnel. Dougie doesn't give a hoot. Ford he makes sure vows to build traffic tunnel built. under Highway oh, 401. Houses. What does that have to do with housing getting built? A tunnel. Is that what you're talking, talking about? about the, the tunnel. No, the, the subway extension that's been moved right towards oh, the land that's of freedom. That's what you said we would talk about today. I was like, yeah. me and Tika were talking yesterday, and he said that we were going to save something for the show, and I don't remember what the hell we were talking Listen, about. Listen, Dougie, Dougie yes. tried his best with the green, uh, green belt, and I'm he telling did. you right now, he really put in a good effort there. But the he problem okay. was is the people who want to save the frogs and who want to save the geese, those guys, they're loud. No, it you was know, too obvious what and was going, going on. And then the massages in Vegas. That, that didn't as soon help. as massages in Vegas were involved, he had no choice but to pull the plug. No right? choice. And so, you know, those guys over there are going to have to wait for those houses to come over there in uh, the Greenbelt areas. Now, this project in the Markham and Richmond Hill area, we've got a subway extension that mm -hmm. has basically been planned for a little while you know we've been talking about it for a little while we knew where some of the stations were going to be but there was after royal orchard there was supposed to be another i got a client who owns a house in one of the um richmond hill communities but it was never really announced officially and so now they've got this new design that looks like it just sort of just veers right off right off towards where a bunch of land has been purchased over the last you know whatever a few decades but some of it even recently that is owned and controlled by the same Another branch, similar the same people. Family. Yes, another branch, but the same family that the uh, Greenbelt uh, lands were were mostly owned by. Far you know? less obvious this time. Now, here, regardless, this is Far my opinion. Obvious. It was my opinion on the Greenbelt, and it was my opinion on this. Who is more likely to build houses? The people who own the land, who have the means to do it, who stand billion, who stand to gain billions of dollars, who've got the resources, who've got the companies, the infrastructure, who are willing to play the the the, the game in order to be able to get it done. Or just a bunch of random landowners in some random area that the government decided to uh, to choose. Because when you yeah. go right up Young Street, now you have all these different landowners who all own up and down Young Street. And who knows if they'll ever get their acts together to build anything. So you I might as well go where the gravy's hot. A little bit northwest. Are you, uh, are, are you being serious, TK? I'm dead serious. This is what I would do. I don't think it's a matter of uh, collusion or, or or corruption. I think it's a matter of the provincial government saying, where will more houses be built and faster? Let's put the subway station there because mm -hmm. otherwise, what are we doing? We keep coming up with these policies. They're literally building less houses than ever now. 
They are well, they building down. so many less houses Whoa. that it's absolutely insane. Build more houses faster. And then he's got all these new policies, which you're dealing with right now in your sites, right? Like the build more faster, stronger act and the, uh, you know, the provincial policy statement stuff, like all those, all yeah. those acts that basically meaningless. Um, well, they helped these developers get more density and pay less fees because one of them, they don't have to pay park levies anymore. And then they've got two MZOs over there as well, too. That'll prevent any of those measly municipal governments getting in the way. Jeez. That's right. Are you a real estate agent and you're looking to make a change? Anywhere in Ontario, guess what? We're hiring. Franklin & Associates, number one team in the GTA for all REMAX teams. Number one team for all teams from all companies for number of units sold uh, throughout Toronto. So if you're looking to make a change, best decision I ever made was to join Franklin & Associates. Go to jointeamleo.com and we can set up a call. Well, I mean, it seems a little suspect and not that it's not a good idea to um, help the developers who have the capital and the willingness and the means to build more houses. But like, I think moving the subway off of the longest street in, I think, the world um, that is kind of known for having the entire subway system along it just doesn't really make sense for it to veer kilometers off in the distance, smack dab in the middle of another similar family to the green belt scenario thing going on. What are you I trying mean, to say, Daryl? Well, what I'm trying to I'll... say is if they left it going straight up Young Street like they were supposed to, people would have figured out ways to put deals together all up and down Young Street, just like they have all 20 up years and down later. Young Street. 20, 20 years, years later, my nuts. What are you what talking about? What do you about? mean? Look at Young it and takes... Steel's. They don't have a subway stop. It's fucking bonkers at Young and Steel's now. There's a million applications in Malls are going down. Every building around this area is going down, and they're putting up Mizrahi's big site went bankrupt right here. It was going to be four towers, giant 50 stories. Like, there was a lot of activity just at Young and Steel's that had nothing around it before, except for, you know, big commercial malls. It was perfect. But if you go up Young Street, there's tons of properties, right? And you're mm. talking 500, 800 kilometers away from each station. There's so many opportunities there, but I mean, it's not right in the heart of. Uh, but listen, how much? How much did they give as, as as a gift at Doug's daughter's wedding? This is the difference. I want to know. Right? But the other this thing too the that they, there's there's and how many billions did they, they have vanished from them from the green belt fiasco? Not that many. Not that was that, that was potential much. earnings. Potential well, maybe the 2003, earnings. the guys who 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 had bought the land initially. What about but science they all center? Bought it cheap back then. So, so the um the next thing was that the landscape company they bought a landscape company in 2022, I think it was. Who? That uh, piece of land. The same guys, same family. Purchase a landscape company too. No, purchase a purchase. Sorry, land from a landscape company. Okay. And so the owner of the landscape company says, like, I didn't even want to sell, but they approached me and basically just said, Hey, we're with the government, and they don't want to deal with you, and they're only going to deal with us. And he felt like forced to sell. This is it's in like a the, scene from The Sopranos. This is in the area where they moved the subway where to? the subway is, yeah, yeah, yeah. They bought that whole area like over the last, I don't know, 20 no, this, years. I know, but one guy sold for $30 million two years ago. Right, sure. Right? Smart Landscape guy, company. yeah. Waited so, until the last second, right? A couple of guys showed up on his door doorstep one day and just said, Vito, listen, you've been here for a long time. We appreciate you. You've done a good stuff for the community, okay? We let you time hang around plenty. It's time to go. I think you know? it's time that you have decided to leave on your own accord. Yeah. Sign right? here. Listen, if we don't think that those type of things happen in the real world, you're naive. Come on. It it's happens. in your best interest to leave now. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. Hey, your right? son's doing really well riding his bike. I saw he took yeah. off his training wheels the other day. You got a cute kid. You got to go. Kid. You know, he goes Listen. around the corner now sometimes. He's all by himself. They don't just come up with this stuff for the movies, do they, TK? This is from yeah. Toronto uh, Real Estate I'm just estate saying, things happen. Right? things happen. Things happen. Things happen. People make disappear. a movie about you know? this kind of stuff, I'm sure. We we uh, we had uh, we had some phone calls ourselves. 
at our company for sometimes on some of the deals that we're working on. We get oh, yeah? we get phone calls from oh, yeah, well I you known me. developers That's right. trying to um, attempt to to scratch our backs. That's right. You know, in order to gain favorable interest. It's just what they do. Yeah. Just so you know, we're the best guys for this deal. The best guys for this deal. We're we're gonna pay you deal. half of what you're looking for, but trust me, we're the, in the best. Future, you're gonna want a friend like me. That's right. We can That's do things for you. Yeah. I got somebody I'm meeting uh what day is today? Uh, this weekend, a uh, fan mm-hmm. of the show that says uh, I'm going to enjoy meeting him and that he will be able to do wonderful things for me in the future. I'm excited. It oh, sounds a little nervous. Uh, I'm concerning. You should bring somebody we're with gonna, you. I'm not we're sure. Gonna go, uh, we're going to go to Definitely a bring place a, like, I frequent where everybody knows my name. And, okay. uh, you know, we'll make sure the library. That, uh, the coast, yeah, the library. Yeah. That's right. Share your location with me before you go, okay? I will make sure that yeah. I keep you on speaker the entire I, time. I believe all the t-shirts now have been sent out. So if you've been waiting for a t-shirt, some people got them earlier than others. Just the way life goes sometimes. And some people's, the size of the shirt it may not fit. It's just, yeah. we they tried our designed best. designed as belly shirts, right? <laughs> we tried our best. We, we, tried. we have children and they can wear them. be different. What else is going on out there, TK? I mean, I seem to be having uh, some fun with the city right now. We're having a good time. Yeah. Got our feedback back did really in well, uh, thought, Forest yeah. Hill. Yeah. Got uh, had a little talk with the planner. Seems like, uh, you know, things are progressing in a way that, uh, you know, I think I can live with. Hopefully the city can live with. We're, we're almost there. We're getting they mention, really close. And then did they mention me at all? They did. Was, they I, did. was I ever brought up in the conversation? They did. Uh, I don't think it's worth repeating here, but okay. uh, you, you, your name did come up. TK. Okay, good. good. It always comes up in every conversation that I have. I'm just asking. I'm everything. just saying. I'm just. I thought maybe they they wanted to know how I was doing or what my my thoughts were on the project. They did. As but heavily involved as I am with it. You are fairly involved, TK. Yes. From the but beginning. Things are things are going tickety boo. I'm, uh, you know. Working on designing the other buildings in the bridal path area. That mm-hmm. is taking a big chunk of my time. That's kind of exciting. It's always fun doing the design part, you know? The the, the the fun part of the whole thing is the creative in imagination and like picturing what you're gonna build there. And then the city and their fucking rules just fuck up everything, right? Mm. Yeah. And then everybody else wants to give their opinion. You know, it's like the architect wants his opinion and the planner has his opinion in the landscape. Everybody has their opinion. And what people don't realize, TK, is I have it in my head already. I, I just need everyone to just toe the line and like bring my vision to life. But yeah. nobody, listen... I have a vision that isn't possible. This is always the problem. We always have to massage it because the rules say, you know, you can't do this. And, you know, don't even bother asking why and trying to make sense of things, right? It doesn't matter if it's illogical. It just, that's the way it is, right? So mm-hmm. it's, you, you, you just come to all of these little well, I, bumps in the road where it's like, oh, like, I want to give this and I want to have this, but I can't do it because it just eats up too much of the space I'm allowed to use on the site, even though it's gigantic, right? Oh, no, but, trees. Any trees. And then the trees. TK, the bane of my existence. Okay, listen. It is unreal how, how the rights of bicyclists and tree huggers, tree trees, people, trees and bikes have way more rights than humans mm. in the city of Toronto. We are so protective and careful. It's just, a, words. it's just a neighbor thing. It's not even the city with the trees. Okay. The city used to like do anything they could to stop you from chopping down the tree. Now, all they care about is how much you're going to pay them for the right to chop down the tree. It's Mm -hmm. the neighbors. If the neighbors love their tree so much or feel that maybe it's a good way to block the development or maybe screw the evil developer, right? 
they they'll just say like our neighbors said is you know what like we appreciate you coming to us and asking for our permission but we we like those trees and we're going to keep them right there mm. I, good luck it, it's like why maybe miraculously one day those trees just you know why, get sick if, but what if what if one day what though what if one day those guys need something from us because we own like the 10 properties behind them and mm. you never know what's going to come up we're neighbors, right? Yeah. And even with the other neighbors that are being Schmagegelsteins, like mm. it's the same thing. We're going to be neighbors for a long time. And guess what? No matter what anybody does, there will be a construction project there, right? And we want to work together. We want to be nice. We want to enjoy this intense relationship as best we can, right? And so later you're going to want things from me you're going to need things from me because it's going to be a mess all the time. Right. And like, why instantly like put that stop sign up in front of me and just be like, no, I'm not going to do anything to help you. Mm -hmm. Right. Like people are just so short sighted. It's so crazy. And it's like, you know, everybody will say at the dinner table, Oh my God, like what's his name? Can't afford a place. And this guy's losing his job and blah, blah, blah. And we need more housing. We need more housing. We need more housing. But like, Go to a community Don't try to meeting. build more housing. Jeez. Right. Yeah. If you're going to try and build more housing as a solution to building more housing, then forget it. You cannot count on me for this. You do not you have can build my... housing just somewhere else. Yeah. Anywhere else but here yeah. or there. I may be there. Oh, and if mm. you want to do it there, like that, that you can't do. Yeah. But no, they will agree to way over there. That's fine. Maybe way over there. But yeah. if you're going to do it, like, we're going to need this and this and this. And we're going to. Did you see? This is crazy. This is actually pretty interesting. And it's uh, I don't even know how to feel about it. There is Toronto's oldest apartment set to get 10 story addition while the tenants are staying put. They're going to keep all of the tenants in while they add an additional 10 stories to this like little four like story building. It's absolutely unbelievable. And the city seems to be one, two, three, four. Yeah. Four story building. And all the tenants are obviously like, um, like what if something happens above yeah. us? Right. Like this <laughs> Remember doesn't there was sound a guy, like there a good the idea. One in, the one in Niagara, there's a Chinese developer who was building a few buildings. One was like Niagara, one was Muskoka. And then one of his buildings like had like some sort of like collapse in the middle of the night at one point. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yeah, but that's in the middle of construction. Ever trust? I forget what that was. Yeah, that was with was nobody Evertrust. there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, imagine if something like that happens. And so this is like a heritage site. So they have to keep the old building intact and it's no, tenanted. They should, so the, the they, they should be displacing the tenants for the construction period. Yeah, and so somehow that shouldn't be like like obviously this project just should never happen, but um, if it <laughs> needs to happen, then the tenants should be put somewhere else, and until the project's done with an N thirteen, right. and then they come back and they pay the same rent. That's the only way. That's the only way. So so the 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 tenants are like, show us another time where this has ever happened. Like this is yeah. absolutely crazy, and yep. where I don't it? know of a rent of uh, where is this thing? That's a Florida. Great question yeah toronto no i said uh, florida somewhere uh, blah, 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 blah. it's in the annex yeah that's crazy where's the address here i don't know if they show the address but okay so there is something uh, i think it's on university i feel like it's university it may have been avenue the bank those are the same thing no it was like a commercial building and they yeah. built like i don't even know 30 stories on top of this thing yeah. while Whatever tenants wanted to stay in there could stay oh, okay. in there. Yeah. I went in there during the construction, man. Like, what a disaster zone. And I went into a lawyer's office, okay? And it's like, what? What What, what are you saying? Like, you guilty. couldn't have the meeting. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you I want me to guilty? Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Like drills going yeah, off yeah, and pieces. Yeah. No, falling. you can't. Listen, you can't. The walls you can't. were cracked. This, 
there's the whole safety thing that's that's more important right it's so crazy. bottom bottom line is that project now here i am i'm a developer look at I got you, this four-story building block of the house right i got no uh cash flow i'm going geez what do i got to do to get these guys out well i got a permit to allow for 10 stories to be built on top of my four stories and i'm going to tell all my tenants don't worry guys we're just going to build a building on top of you We'll keep you safe. Don't Unless worry. Unless you uh, plumbing start will be out between the hours of nine and four p.m. between Tuesday and Thursday, three weeks of the month. It's you know, be like seven a.m. till right? eight p.m., eleven p.m., ten p.m. You guys don't have to go anywhere. Don't worry. You guys are fine. I got a permit. Did so I ever, think about that as I a ever, developer? Is that not a is that not a play? Can I, okay. I don't know if I ever told this story to you or on the air before. I was working on this job for this old Indian uh, real estate developer. This He was a legend. This guy's name was Mac Champsey from Rainbow Realty. I don't know if you ever heard of this guy. No. I, I don't think he's alive anymore. But he owned this thing on Pembroke Street, which is, you know where Pembroke is? Yeah, downtown, Cap-Town. like seedy, seedy, horrible, yeah. disgusting area, right? And so he owned this four-unit apartment, like, house. It was broken up into four units. And he had this idea that he was going to renovate the units and convert them to condominiums from apartments to condos and then sell them off as four units. And so he emptied three of the four units and one unit on the second floor, they weren't leaving. They're like, we don't give a shit. This is our place. We live here. We are not leaving. Go fuck yourself. And I'm like trying to do this whole renovation. And like I ripped the roof off while they lived in that friggin apartment like i took the roof off i said guys like i gotta take the roof off i don't know what to tell you but like i got a job to do here you've been told to leave a million times i'm sorry but like tomorrow your ceiling you have no roof will be a tarp okay yeah and we they stayed they friggin stayed through the whole thing now i didn't make it to the end of that project OK, that was actually <laughs> well, that wasn't the first. Did that the wasn't tarp? the only project. No, I quit that project. OK, yeah. because that that this was an old house. There was a lot of sketchy stuff when we ripped things open. Yeah. And this thing was so far over budget, you know, <laughs> and we had just done the demo and we were already over budget. OK, yeah. <laughs> so like it was like scrimp. He ran out of money. You yeah. could ran. Yeah. Well, listen, the guy had boatloads of money. He couldn't run out of money. It was not a concern. It was like they had a budget in mind. And, you know, this guy's an old school real estate guy. He's like, oh, yeah. my God. he wants to stay as close to budget as possible. Right. So, yeah. Anyways, one day that a, la- a stair landing was so poorly built. And I was like, um, we really need to do something about this landing because like somebody will die here one day, 100 percent. And I can't live with that. And he says, oh, call my friend, call my friend. He's an engineer. He'll give us a stamp for whatever we need. And I was like, OK, uh, what does that mean? Right. Because that can mean a couple of different things. Well, so we meet on site and he's like, listen, the owner told me to give you a stamp drawing for whatever the hell you need. So he looked around and he left. And I was I I called him the next day. I go, when are you going to give me the the detail? And he sends me the detail and the details like leave it as it is. Here's a stamp. Everything's fine. And I was like. This was my first encounter with kind of shenanigans in the background with engineers and inspectors. Okay. Cause a couple of bucks can get you a stamped engineer drawing from the right guy for literally anything. Okay. So I was like, I can't live with this. Like, and this is why I couldn't be a general contractor for very long. Cause I was like, you know, a lot of people would just take the money, bury everything and see you later. Right. But somebody was somebody may have already died on those stairs if they ended up doing it the way that they were planning. And I I actually quit that job. That was the first job I ever quit when I was when I was a general contractor. I scruples in general contracting do not go hand in hand. I was like, listen, it's not like I'm unscrupulous. Is that the right word? Like I'm willing to bend some rules as far as they'll bend. You know, I'm willing to do some stuff, but like intentionally killing somebody right even if that's not the intention that's not something i can live with for sure right? there are so many 
GC scams. Like, um, I just had another client scammed where the guy said, yeah, don't worry. I'll do your basement. Don't worry. I'll do it for cheap. Don't worry. We'll get like secondhand or second grade materials or something like that. And yeah. you can do it for X, Y, and Z. What I need you to do is take out a mortgage yeah. so that you can pay you me know, in have full the money. before we start. So I'll arrange the mortgage for you. So <laughs> oh, they got God. the mortgage arranged. Second check, mortgage? Yep. The check oh. made out to the contractor. Oh, beautiful. So we spent a couple of weeks tinkering, hammering, doing some stuff, brought a couple of materials over. Oh, no. What are you going to do? Later. Put a he's, lien on the house? He's got family emergencies. He's got his own issues got now. Him. He's got his own problems. He's got this. He's got that. Medical problems. Da, 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 da. Money's gone. Work's not done. This is what happens out there. Oh, God. I yeah. remember I ran. I met this guy. I don't even know where I was at. I meet this older guy and he's introducing himself and we're talking and he learns that I'm in the industry and he he starts bragging to me that he used to be a, a, a Tin man, steel man, what do they call? He used to like go door to door and take advantage of like old people on purpose and like take deposits for construction work and just disappear all the yeah. time. Yeah. What's that called? Tin man, steel man. Know. I've never heard that. And there was a label for but that. But he was like, hey, I'm a tin, whatever the word is. Okay, we're going to pretend yeah. it's tin yeah. man for this. Okay. Uh, I'm a tin man. I robbed so many people out of their money. I'm like the coolest guy ever. And like, I made so much money just robbing people and driving around in my Cadillac. And I'm, I'm the man, you know? And I was like, yeah. holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's one thing to do it. It's another thing to think you're the coolest guy ever for doing it. Like, that, yeah. don't you keep that quiet? Yeah. Well, this is right. like right now, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing more and more scams. I was just Have talking about be. it with somebody today who got scammed. Their sister got scammed because she, she thought she won a $30,000 prize. The prize was 30000 but you had to pay 5000 to get it. So she borrowed the money off her mom. She gave the $5,000 and it disappeared. What the hell right? are people falling for, though? But this is like, the thing. The in it, the innocent, the poor, the the vulnerable, they're the people. They think, oh, my gosh, my life is going to be changed. I'm going to win $30,000. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mom. That's why you're broke. My you life dummy. is going to change. I'm going to I'm going to have $30,000. And that's oh. how I'm going to go into the next chapter of my life and, and live this amazing life. My kids, blah, blah, blah. all I need is 5000 You know? And it preys on people. Why do you think that those Nigerians writing those emails kept on writing them for like a decade. They, sure. If it stopped working, they would have stopped writing them a long for time. Ago. Sure. Listen, right. But the they were working. They're working. It's like yeah. these guys, they want to sell you SEO for your podcast. I get a million messages. <gasps> oh, forget about this shit. I got some dirt, like some, like I got Real like dirt. some insider oh. kind of shit from Okay, Instagram. Tell me first and then we'll see if it's worthy of time for this. No, Tell this me. is good. This fan of the show sent me this uh, info, wondering if I knew what was going on with, uh, hey, have you guys heard anything on BG Wealth Group? Have okay. you heard anything about BG Wealth Group? Don't, I don't Google know. it. Have you heard anything? No, no obviously. BG Wealth. There's nothing on there. There's nothing on there. Okay, I'm going to keep reading. They have hundreds of investors not being paid back and are selling their current portfolio of residential commercial use properties all over the Owen Sound area. Title searches show they have less than zero equity in their properties and tax bills with the city of millions of dollars. He goes on to say more and more. And I was like, can I talk about this? Or is this going to cause a problem? Because apparently they were told, don't go to social media. Show when, no, when, no, when nobody's watching. Well, this is a good time to do it. But no, yeah. I should have done it earlier. I forgot yeah. about it. But he, they were told, don't go to social media because it will impede my ability to pay you back as people hear like bad rumors about this thing, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you got a bunch of investors whose term is up, who've asked for their money back. And no, big, sorry, not the poor, happening. The poor people no. who who need that money the most. That's poor the people truth. that need that money the most. But I mean, yeah. it's not like it's... it. I would feel less bad for people if they committed to five years and it was year three. And the guy was like, listen, you committed to five years. Give me time to get through this thing. Yeah. Like, you, you know, this is the time. You can't have your money back. Sorry. Uh, yeah. I hope you're not too upset, but it's like, uh, we lent it to you for 12 months. It's been 16. Um, yeah. I want my money back. 
and yeah, it's yeah, yeah. no yeah you're not getting we don't have it we don't have it not only we do have we it. not have it we owe so much money all we owe more than we place. have uh, you're in, fucked, uh, assets. right? Yeah. And if you want any of your money back, you're going to keep your mouth shut. You're going to let me sell this shit, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll give you your money back once I sell this shit. Yeah, right. You think these people are like the first people he's going to be giving the money to when he sells stuff? There's way scarier people than these little investors, 70 year old ladies in Owen Sound who got, uh, you know, the wool pulled over their eyes. There's mm -hmm. A lot of people that I'm sure, you know, aren't 70 year old ladies that want their money back. Yeah. This is going to get. Do? What do you do? I looked at the guy's like pitch deck. It looks pretty legit. Like any pitch deck should. At the end of the day, it looks like a pyramid you know, scheme. If you're making like, an, if you're making an investment, you know, there's different levels of risk and there's different levels of reward. You got to know what you're getting into. And that, know if what you're, you're going to be going into. into something that's going to be higher risk. You yeah. better be okay with losing it at the end of the day. Well, this is Real why estate development just... is one of those types of investments. It's Everybody risky. knows about a bad real estate deal that everyone lost their shirts on. That's that's what real estate development is. And 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 it gets especially in my opinion, okay. And I see people that I know very well whose strategy is like these little towns and doing stuff in little towns and you know, having people I know you like the strategy, right? Pay off the mortgage and you end up with a house for free at some point in the future and no equity in the deal. And like, it's enticing, I suppose, to some people, but with the wrong person, especially with, you know, some guy buying 50, a hundred houses in Owen sound, like, I don't know if this is the best strategy. I'm sorry. Maybe you want to do one or two here until you get yeah, more money like, to do something the, else. It's the scale that the issue is, and then the and the and the and the leverage and the promissory notes and all those type of things. That's what that's where things go wrong. Well, but this is generally what's involved in that strategy. So if you guess wrong on the larger scale, it is because in the beginning they did it on the smaller scale and were so successful. This is the thing. Then they said, "Hmm, why don't I buy Just more of these houses?" Scratch and they it a start getting. Bit. They start getting sloppy on their buys. They just start buying anything because they got money. Someone who says, I want to buy a deal right now. And they say, okay, fine. I got one for you. After yeah, repair value, $550,000, right? And that's that's where the issues are. You have to be super prudent in those type of deals. I just don't know why you would invest in something that didn't make money, right? And so these things, they make like a little bit of money. There's a lot of effort to make the little bit of money for 20 years down the road to, you know, have somebody have paid off your mortgage. I think there's better, less um, risky ways of doing this thing. But it's a strategy that works in any market. And I it think that's works. what it is. It's a strategy. So when I hear people speculate and most people who talk to me and they tell me about their real estate holdings, it was speculation. Like very few times I run into somebody who gives me this great story about how they use the strategy in order to be able to make money in real estate. Honestly, I know it exists. I, I know, know those people, I but just I'm not think saying there's, there's like, so many, there's so many are hard. It's just, it just doesn't exist out there. Most people are just speculators. They've yeah. risen to the top because of the market. Um, if your increases. strategy involves Owen sound, it means you're fucking broke. Okay. I'm sorry. It means you started <laughs> broke. You had a little success in fucking Owen sound. Okay. Yeah. And now you got a bunch of people that are stupid that came into this pool because listen, for, if you're going to invest 25 grand in a real estate thing like that, trust I'm, me, I'm gonna go disagree. to Graybrook, go to Graybrook, you, give them, okay. go to Cranston Capital. You can't get Capital. cash flow in Toronto and these other areas. Go make so money. in order for this strategy to work, you have to be in smaller towns. That's yeah, why but you're in getting a towns. seven cap on a $250,000 like piece of shit. Okay, you get like four times four, you got a million a dollar seven cap. I know, but they don't yeah. make it. It's seven. Daryl, at one point in time, month. me and you talked about buying these. I know. So don't, Thank don't, God, you were the only be, one who did it. Don't uh, be, uh, don't be, uh, you know, condescending. But, it's it's a strategy. Nonetheless. I think it, it's a definite strategy. Nonetheless, you're in the, Some you're are in the big leagues. Others. All right, you're in the big leagues. Everyone wants to be buying land. This doing is what big I'm saying. Development deals. I but get. If it. you're an investor. Like, it's yeah. one thing, TK, you do it with another guy, okay? You're not raising other people's money and putting a pool together of little people who, if they lose everything, are fucked, okay? These are 
these guys are preying on people. They're they're literal mm-hmm. Ponzi schemes because I agree. There's no way that they can scale that thing to a point where it makes enough money per month to pay these people the returns they're promised. The only way to pay the returns they're promised of 16% on average per annum or 21 per whatever the fuck it is, is by mm-hmm. paying you with the next guy's money that comes into the scheme, right? Yeah. Because when you buy a bunch of seven caps that make a hundred bucks each a month, like you can't pay out the returns you're promising to all these investors. The math doesn't work. The right. So it's, it's okay. If like you and a buddy go do it and you make a bunch of money on a few of them. Right. But I, I, I know that, you know, most investors, when they get to a certain point, they get the fuck out of Owen sound. Okay. They get closer to that's the, where the deals are. No, that's where the deals are. That's where their, that's where their strategy works. And you invest That's in where their management that you like infrastructure is. Yeah, but you don't invest in like uh, Sleven Jablobowitz, who's got forty houses in Owen Sound, and you don't like. I don't know. It's a strategy, nonetheless. The sch- and and then the, the scheme is centered around like a uh, 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 referral program, right? Like, sure. Okay. It's I all, get- now it starts getting into like, do you need to make more money? Here's yeah. a great way to make more money. You can have an un capped one percent commission right yeah, yeah uncapped yeah. so if somebody brings in which is not an unheard of way of doing things right like the yeah. big boys they all pay you know a, a, a fee or referral a, a fine referral fee. fee if yeah. you bring the money because that's just the way the world works right but that's not their pitch they're not out there going like Get more people in the program. Like it's like a MLM company. It's like Isogenics. Yeah. Do you remember Isogenics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, we're all in this together and we're gonna get <laughs> more people and bring them on and everybody's gonna be successful. Hundred right? percent like, you're in go. that. Hundred percent you're in that. I was in that like 100%. years ago, man. When I was yeah, yeah. broke as hell. Yeah, yeah. When I was losing all my money. I got in sucked in. Eh? They they invited me to Bayview and York Mills on to um, I don't think it was Fifeshire, but it was one of those streets that was like really popular with big yeah. mansions. Yeah. And they said, hey, we got a listing appointment here at uh, this address. Why don't you come over and talk to the sellers? Buy some and Tupperware, said, too. I'll be there. I never had a listing that was that much money before. Oh. And uh, so I showed up and the guy looked at me. The guy I knew from high school. He says, TK, I'm really sorry. Okay, this is actually not a listing for you. But just listen to what these guys have to say. Oh, my God. I was like, what? what? And so the guy's telling me, he's like, I own all these Remaxes. And don't worry, real estate, that's dead now. This is what you got to do. And I like left halfway through. I put up with it. Nutrition and like, shake. Got to go. I Yeah, I did Isogenics. That was ACN. That was ACN. I- Isogenics was like these shakes, like weight loss shakes, and like yeah. you got all this energy, and basically you starved yourself to death for a week, and you lost a ton of weight. Perfect. But we gave it to one of my wife's friends, and she, <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but she ended up in the hospital, and I was like, okay. I guess we shouldn't be selling this shit anymore, right? Mm, Holy no, no. Yeah. But guys, this show, all right, just so you guys know, we're trustworthy, okay? We yeah. do believe in send... taking care of people. I know sometimes we get off track. Sometimes right. we think about, you know, maybe how we can be a little bit more entrepreneurial out there. But uh, we're bringing more. you guys the best information we can, okay? Every single week, we, yeah. we're we here. Share this with your friends. We'll give you 10% of the proceeds. Honestly, well, actually, we'll give Honestly. you 50% of the proceeds. I'll give you 100% of the proceeds. Okay, right here. 50% of the proceeds for sharing this video with your friends and getting them to subscribe. Please provide us photo evidence of their subscription. Absolutely. TK, always a pleasure. Once again, Absolutely. you look marvelous in that red jacket. Nobody wears it better. Look at that little Great jiggle. shirts. Very little comfortable. Jiggle. These shirts, TK, are growing on me, mainly because I'm growing underneath them. But Good. I am once you get the static out of these things, yeah, they're they're comfortable. Barely they're soft. It's nice when you put it on the first time. Dog hair doesn't stick on it. Yeah. I haven't tested that yet, but I am hoping to hear something back. I don't have a dog in the comment section. I have some shirts that are going out this week. There's a few more left. TK. We will see you again.